If you like the video, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. I've noticed in discussions and videos about framing and composition that it's the one-third rule that's up front and center. It's like it's the alpha and omega of composition. But if in your creative travels you've dipped into the art world at all, you'll have noticed many other forms of composition that they use. You see, artists have been working in two-dimensional mediums like painting and drawing for thousands of years. And therefore, they figured out certain compositional conventions that resonate with viewers. And yes, film and video is a two-dimensional medium. The problem is we have two eyes and live in a dynamic 3D world. Wherever you are right now watching this video, look around and find what would be an interesting shot. Now close one eye. It just went flat and a little dull. Now reopen your eye. It's back. That's what we're competing with. A dynamic world made bland in our medium by the loss of one dimension. How do we create lively shots that fit our stories in a 2D film and video world? Composition to the rescue. Let's look at what in the art world they've discovered about composition. Here are two ways to look at composition, focus and effect. We can use compositions to guide the viewer's eye to a point or points we want them to look at. Focus. Shapes like circles, triangles, L shapes draw the viewer's eye into and around an image. Composition can also create a feeling, an effect in the viewer. Diagonals create a feeling of movement and action. Here's a classic impressionist painting I love. The artist's viewpoint on the bridge creates diagonal lines that draw the viewer into the painting and give a feeling of action. The street, the sidewalk, the bridge, the buildings in the background. But what's interesting is how they are in contrast to the people in the frame. A couple casually walking, a man peering over the bridge with his head resting in his hands, a dog strolling. It feels like a lazy Sunday, bright sunlit, as people casually go about their day in the middle of a modern, active city. This busy city, contrasted by subjects not really doing anything significant, it's as if the city is the subject and people just added decoration. Another interesting composition, symmetrical and asymmetrical balance which can create feelings of unity or contrast. Here's a scene. A wife is frame left in the foreground, sitting at the dinner table, while her domineering husband in the background, frame right, prepares her a drink to cheer her up. He doesn't know why she's upset, but we do. She just found out he's been cheating on her. In this composition, she's dominant, creating an L in the foreground with the table. He's small in the background, the asymmetrical framing is in contrast to their relationship where he's been dominant and possibly foreshadows a change if she confronts him. But let's change the framing. Now he's frame right in the foreground, the L shape flipped. He's dominant in the frame, she's small. This reflects their current relationship and reinforces her as the meek one. This could create the feeling that nothing has changed right before she explodes and confronts him. Or we could balance the shot, each equal in the frame. Neither of these shots are right. Each gives a different weight to the characters in the scene using composition. This is where you as a director make choices based on how you want to convey the story visually. Which frame would you use? What if you used more than one? This brings us to some major differences that film has over 2D art that we need to take into account. One is montage. We don't stop at one image, we could cut back and forth between those shots in a rhythm that brings her to a boiling point. This is probably why the one-third rule is so prominent in these discussions about composition, because it fits when cutting back and forth between two characters having a conversation. The other difference? Our subjects and camera can move. We could have her move into the frame to complete the composition, or move the camera to do so.
Those are two examples of using composition to focus the viewer's eye and create a feeling that fits along with your story. There are many other forms of composition to play with, and I'll give you some links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Check out PullMyFocus.tv for the companion articles to our videos. And if you find what we're doing helpful and informative, consider backing us on Patreon. With a small monthly pledge, you're investing in our ability to continue to bring you more inside tips for making great video. So thanks.